Hey, this is Ian here in the camp, and I want to thank everybody for coming back for another tutorial, and I want to apologize for not putting any videos out yesterday. We kind of had a little uh, situation with our dog that is 17 years old. Uh, she's at the end of her life, so we were kind of dealing with that and everything, having to take her to the vet and all that. But uh, what I'm going to do is today we are going to be looking at the .dll, the dynamic link libraries and I'm going to show you how to create a basic DLL to go into my little square footage calculator. I figured this would be a really good tutorial for some of the ones that are wanting to get into create the dot DLLs and they cannot figure out uh, what DLLs to do. You can create these custom however you want and also use them in your projects as well. So, uh, also, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to join the Camp Nerd family. And as always, hit that like button and turn on the notifications to get some pretty cool tutorials like this. And if you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to read the description because there may be something you don't know about that you would like to know about, such as our Keep It Nerdy merchandise. And we have that out now for uh, purchase. And if you would like to support the Camp Nerd family, then also help support me to bring more tutorials out like this. You can so by going through the merchandise link that is in the description below. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get into this tutorial. I am on a time limit. Today is Thursday, and a lot of you know that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have to go babysit uh, my sister-in-law's kids. And they get off the bus uh, the first one at 2.30, so I have about an hour to do this whole tutorial, edit it, and put it up, and everything like that. So, uh, getting into this, what we're going to do is, once you have Visual Studio open, and you want to create a new project, and this is going to be a class library, uh, .NET standard, and we're going to name this Calculator... And we're just going to put this in, uh, let's just delete that. No. I want to delete, delete, and then we're going to go back, and then we're going to hit select OK and then OK. Uh, yeah, here in Alabama, it is like freezing cold outside, so I'm wearing my toboggan. All right, now that you see that we have the uh, class library up and everything, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave everything the way it is. You can change the class name if you want. I'm just going to leave it uh, class one for this tutorial. And what we want to do is we want to do a public static int multiply. And uh, this is going to be int a int b like so. And maybe I need to spell things right. Get rid of that right there. And then that's going to be an int. All right, and that multiply, it'll give an error because we have not really generated anything yet. And this is where we're going to return A times B. And as you see, once you have that closed off, that error will go away. Now, this is the uh, dynamic link library. Very simple, just for the square footage tutorial. You can go through, you can create more customized DLLs, things like that. And so this right here is what we're going to do. Now, in order to use this DLL, we need to build it. So you can go to build, build solution, or you can press control shift B. And as you see right here, it succeeded. Now, to before we close out of that to show you that it succeeded if you go to where you had created everything and go to bin then dot net standard you can see the dot dll right here 
All right, so now we can exit out of everything. Since we have our .dll in this folder right here, we can create a new Visual Studio, and this is going to be a WPF application. You can also use it in WinForms, uh, whatever you want, and this is just going to be named uh, Square Foot Calculator, like so. And we're going to uh, put a new folder, and we're just going to put calculator, <clears throat> then press OK. And now we're going to actually get in and start building uh, the application itself. It is very, very simple. Uh, what you want to do is you want to grab three labels, one, two, three. And then you're going to do uh, two text boxes, a text block, and a button. No, we don't want that in there. So what we're going to do is let's just kind of maneuver this around and get these where we can see them. All right, so now what we need to do first is we're going to uh, maneuver these around a little bit so we can kind of get what we want. Just kind of get it organized. And then we're going to do some modifying to this. We're going to highlight all of that. And then we're going to go over to the text. And we're going to put this as uh, Tahoma. And then we're going to put it as 22 pixels, like so. And then we are just going to bring that to that label, and we're going to change this to length. And then the second label, we're going to change it to width. And then we're just going to kind of line that up like that. Let's put our snake bite like so, and then this label is going to be total square foot, like so. All right, so now we have our total square foot. Now let's bring this up and just kind of line everything up a little bit. I am not going to try to get this perfect. Now this text block we're going to put right here. Let's just bring that out to right there. And then we're going to bring this in like that. Highlight this. Bring this down to about right there. And we're going to bring this up to right there. Expand that out. All right, so let's bring this up to right there. And then we're going to bring this over to, we'll just leave it like that right there. Let's get rid of this grid margarine. Go back up here to the window and then take and bring that over like that. Now we want to get a button. And this button we're just going to bring out like so. And we're going to put calculate. Calculate. And then we're going to go to the text and we're going to bring that up to say 20. 
like so and bring that like that all right so now we want to name this text box txt num1 name this to txt num2 we're going to name the button as btn calculate and then this text box right here or text block we're going to name txt result like so all right so now we are going to add the reference that we had just created with the dll so you want to go to browse and you want to go where you uh created and place the dot dll and then you're just going to add it like so and you see the dll calculator right there has been added all right so now what we need to do is uh we need to go to the calculator or the calculate button and you're going to do a click event okay so up here you want to use the using uh calculator or whatever you have named it and then in the button you're going to want to put int i equals and then it's going to be calculator dot class one dot multiply and then this is going to be int dot parse txt num1 dot text and then this is going to be an int dot parse and this is going to be txt num2 dot text and then you're going to close that off like that right there and then txt result dot text equals i dot two string like so all right now we have the whole application completed and before we run it we just need to make some adjustments and uh where you see like the text blocks uh you've got your uh text box blah erase the text box like so to get that to where it's completely empty and then also on the text results you want to take that out and then you can leave it wrap or no wrap depending on how long you uh want your numbers i'm just going to put it to no wrap just for uh eh, not just for purposes no reason why all right now once we start the application uh you can kind of see it's really big I didn't realize that and you can kind of move it around and everything but uh, before we do that I'm going to bring up the calculator right here and then now we have two different calculators so what we're going to do first is let's say uh, the same scenario we have a house let's say that's 80 feet in length and then it's say it's a single wide trailer all right, and it's 16 feet wide. Are you going to click calculate? That's 1,280. So if we come over here, 80 times 16 equals 1,280. Now you can customize that out a little bit more. This is a good application for like uh, if you're wanting to figure out uh, the square footage of a house or a room or something. Now let's say. Uh, we want to figure out our bedroom. Mine and my wife's bedroom. It is uh, a 20 by 15, and we know that our room is 300 square foot. Now, just for uh, 
informational purposes, you'll see that it's 300, 300. Now, you can do this with uh, multiple different things. You can actually create a calculator. You can dot, do dot DLLs, do complex mathematical equations, things like that. But this is just a simple tutorial to show you how to create a simple DLL dynamic link library and implement it into an application to where you can actually use it. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you use in programming, you use the dot DLLs, whether it's from the .NET framework, COM, objects, things like that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and remember this is Ian here in the camp if you would like to join the camp nerd family hit that subscribe button turn on them notifications be sure to read to the description because there may be some things you don't know about that you would like to such as our keep it nerdy merchandise and you can see the link there and if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and I will see y'all guys in the next tutorial until next time Keep it nerdy.